We're continuing to cover homelessness in our community, and that includes taking a closer look at mental illness. This story, part of our month-long series on homelessness. NBC 26's Emily Byer reports. Tammy Freya and Terry Refsgard have been working with the homeless in our community for more than a decade. They've seen it all when it comes to homelessness, but something on the rise has created a different challenge. One of the biggest things we see is that mental health issues, um, more and more major mental health issues, so beyond depression or situational depression because of what they're experiencing right now, but things like bipolar, schizophrenia. Nearly one in five adults in the U.S. experience some form of mental illness. And one in 24 has a serious mental illness, according to the American Psychiatric Association. The condition is treatable, but when it goes untreated, you can see changes in thinking, emotion, and behavior. Throughout the last three to five years, we've seen that grow from the depression all the way up to serious mental health issues. So how we deal with people has had to change. That population is impacting our shelters. I think because that's such a large issue, we're a homeless shelter and offering programming. We're offering meals to people in need in our community. I think more county needs to look at that mental health issue. And I think that's where part of that gap is. We're doing everything we can and we're working with other agencies in the county to do what they can. I think we could use a little more help from the county. Many of the local shelters tell us they work with outside agencies to get those suffering the help they need. I think one of our greatest partnerships in this community is the Green Bay Police Department. We work hand in hand to help people stay off the street. The chief serves on our board of directors. We have our community police officers staffing in often to talk about what's happening in the neighborhood and to talk about the people we're serving, if we have any concerns or if they have any concerns. So with that, it makes their job easier, certainly makes our job easier. So definitely we're working together to make sure we have no one on the streets. Homeless advocates say that if we can work together to get those with mental illness into treatment, we could see a domino effect in our society. Mental illness is a big one. If we could address that, I think we would see a decline in so many other things, family violence, crime. I mean, I think so many things would go down uh, with that addressed uh, because then you start on an even keel. The American Psychiatric Association says mental illness can occur at any age, but three fourths of mental illness begins by age 24. It's nothing to be ashamed of. The vast majority of individuals with mental illness continue to function in their daily lives. If you or someone you know is suffering from mental illness, you can always call the Family Services Crisis Center or the Brown County Community Treatment Center. Their number is for you on the bottom of your screen right now. We also have more information for you on our website, NBC26.com. Emily Byer, NBC26. And you are invited to join in on the conversation at the Central Library in Green Bay. A panel talk is set for tomorrow night at 6.30.